Hi guys, it's Rain, the math person. Before we get started, make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you don't want to be bombarded with all these new videos, make sure you turn off that notification. Other than that, let's just dive right into this question. In this video, I'll be going over question 47 on SO exam P. So pause the video real quick and try to spam yourself. Okay, as soon as you let's just dive right in. So the time from purchase until failure is exponentially distributed with mean is equal to 10. The insurance will pay an X amount if the fail occurs in the first year. And if it um, fails in the second or third year, right, this is second or third year, they're going to pay half of X. And if it occurs after three, three years, it's going to pay zero. And X is just a constant, remember that. And calculate X such that ex expected payment made under this insurance is $1,000. So they're saying find expected payment, I'm going to know Y as payment such that x is less than a thousand dollars or a thousand whatever currency as we know expectation formula just goes the whatever value of x may be times the probability function so from zero to one it's going to be just x times x exponential function has a distribution probably distribution function one over lambda e to negative t over lambda so then this is equal to 1 over lambda, which is 10, e to the negative t over lambda, which is 10, dt, we're integrating respect to t because again, x is just a constant. From 1 to 3, we're integrating 1 half x times the distribution function, which is 1 over 10, e to the negative t over 10, dt. Okay, cool. Because x is just a constant, I can just throw that out. Then this is just a basically a cdf. So we know 1 over lambda e to negative t over lambda going from 0 to some number, let's say like x. This is exactly just equal to 1 minus e to negative x over lambda. This is just something we know about the funny CDF of exponential functions, so we know that this is equal to 1 minus e to negative 1 tenth plus right here on this side, this one would be equal to 1 half x Again, x is just a constant, so I can just throw it outside. 110 e to the negative t over 10, taking the derivative, you get negative e to the negative t over 10, integrating from 1 to 3. So you get this is equal to 1 half x, e to the negative 110, minus e to the negative 3 ten. plus right here, x, 1 minus e to the negative 1 tenth. Okay, cool. And this is, has to be less than a thousand dollars or a thousand whatever <laughs> one minus e to the negative one tenth is equal to 0 0.095 and right here one half x e to the negative one ten minus e to the negative three tenth is equal to 0 0.164019 so I can actually divide this by two here and you get this is equal to 0 0.08 2009 x plus 0.095 x which has to be less than a thousand so that is equal to 0.17717 x less than a thousand so then x must be equal less than a thousand divided by that number which is 5644 which is approximately equal to D. <laughs> if you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye.